Hello everyone, I am of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to do another edition of the da, 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 Ghost Letters Report. Now, due to the recent uh, volcanic eruption of the Ontake volcano and the cause of life it caused and the damage it caused the environment and all these different things, it's got people once again here in Japan talking about is Japan geologically suited for nuclear power? Well, the obvious answer is no, it's not. See, Japan lies right in the heart of something called the Ring of Fire here in the Pacific Ocean. It's a basically a ring that goes around some of the tectonic plates where there's a high amount of volcanic activity. Now, Japan does have active volcanoes, many, and they do erupt from time to time, as a recent event has proven to us once again. So volcanoes and nuclear power, not a healthy combination. All it takes is one massive explosion anywhere near a nuclear power plant. And realistically, you can't put a nuclear power plant far enough away to escape the effects of a volcano here in Japan due to the size of Japan. But all it takes is one real major blast and the damage from that finally makes it to a nuclear power plant, high risk of having problems. Also, and it goes without saying, that Japan has a lot of earthquakes, a lot. Routinely, rather strong ones. I live here, I know that. We experience earthquakes all the time. I mean, at least, at least a minor one a week. We'll get a one decent shake a couple of times a month. And we'll get a really powerful one a few times a year. And let's think about earthquakes for a moment in relation to nuclear power here in Japan. What was it that initially set off the nuclear disaster at Fukushima? Wait a minute. Let's think about that. Oh, a massive damn earthquake. It sent a huge tsunami towards a nuclear power plant that was, for lack of a better word, fucked on any safety standards whatsoever. The nuclear power industry in Japan and globally is so corrupt and so in bed with the bourgeois government, they were getting away with literally, literally murder as far as trying to even keep that plant up to even a basic of standards. So that earthquake hit, huge tsunami rolled in, bam, hit that really poorly maintained nuclear power plant, kaboom! We are dealing with the problem we have now. And that can happen again, very realistically happen again. Just looking at the history of Japan's geological makeup. So it make, really makes no logical sense from a geological perspective to want to try to bring back nuclear power here in Japan. Now, you remember I did a video previously, a few videos back, talking about how they approved one plant and the rest, of, there's a few more that might get restarted, and the rest of them are really never going to be restarted again just because they can't get them up to standard. They're too old. They're too out of date. You know? But what is Japan's alternative? Well, the negative aspects of the geological makeup of Japan related to nuclear power is also a positive for the overall situation of energy needs and energy production. Wind solar and geothermal are in abundance in Japan. Especially geothermal, it's, there's some minor projects that have been gotten up and running locally, but it really isn't done on a mass scale like it should be done in Japan. It can produce a lot of electricity. Wind, really behind here in Japan. And we have these large mountain ranges in Japan, and we have very windy conditions in several parts of the country. You could easily start building up wind farms. Now solar is the one bright point of energy production. There has been a lot of um, investment and efforts made despite Abe's efforts to reduce any type of uh, regulation in the market that's going to promote use of solar energy more. It's growing. It's getting larger. So yeah, there's large solar power plant 
facilities being built and a few are already up and running. So again, you know, when you really look at it, there's really no logical, sensible argument to keep nuclear power in Japan. We keep this going. So I thought I would throw in my own comments, given this is something being discussed again here in Japan. So what do you think about this? About the future of nuclear power in Japan, or globally? Leave your comments in the comment section below. If it's the first time you see me, hey, subscribe. You get lots of vids like this and a few surprises from time to time. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Check it out.